What's going on guys? Welcome to the program. Welcome to Currency World where we discuss everything coins and currency. Let me ask you this. What good are quarters anymore? I know that many people my age seldom use loose change anymore. Maybe some of you still use them to do your laundry or maybe you use them to feed those pesky parking meters. Well, in today's video we will be counting down the top 10 most valuable Washington quarters. I hope that this video will inspire some of you to look through those quarters before tossing them in that parking lot meter or toll booth, as some of these quarters can buy you a nice car or even earn you a nice down payment on a house. Before we get into it, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and tell your friends about Currency World. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. At number 10, we have the 1937 Washington Quarter struck at the San Francisco Mint. This quarter is often referred to as a silver quarter. For those of you that don't know, up until 1964, all U.S. coins that looked silver were actually primarily composed of silver. This included Roosevelt dimes, Washington quarters, Franklin half dollars, and Kennedy half dollars, which were all composed of 90% silver as opposed to the copper and nickel alloy coins we have today. The materials were changed because the silver being used to mint the coins was becoming more valuable than the coins themselves. So remember, anytime you find one of these coins minted before 1965, you are going to want to hold on to it as it'll always be worth at least its value in silver. What makes this particular coin even more special is the fact that less than 5% of quarters minted in 1937 were minted at the San Francisco Mint. One of these quarters in near perfect mint state 67 condition can be worth as much as $15,000. I know that some of you guys might be saying to yourselves right now, but hold on there Alex, I don't work at the mint. While you guys are still in luck, even in average circulated condition, these quarters can be worth anywhere between $50 and $100. Not bad for some spare change, right? Next up on our list at number 9, we have the 1963 Washington Quarter struck at the Denver Mint. As a quick side note, for those of you wondering about how to find the mint mark on these Washington Quarters, it is a bit different from other coins and modern quarters you may be used to in that the mint mark is usually located on the reverse of the coin and if you look beneath the reef where the eagle is perched there should be either a D for Denver, an S for San Francisco, or it will be blank indicating that it is from the Philadelphia Mint. It was only in 1968 the Mint started putting the Mint mark on the front of quarters. This 1963 Denver Mint quarter is yet another so-called silver quarter, but unlike our previous entry, the value of this one is primarily driven by its condition and not its rarity, since about 65% of quarters in 1963 came from the Denver Mint. As a result, in average condition, these coins are worth around $5. However, an exceptional mint state example recently sold at Heritage Auctions for well over $16,000. Even nicer examples than the one that sold can be worth up to $17,500. So if you stumble across one of these, keep in mind that condition will be key. At number 8, we have another Washington Quarter struck at the Denver Mint, this time from 1955. And you guessed it, this 1955 Denver Mint Quarter is another silver quarter. You guys should be noticing a theme here, as all the quarters on this list are silver, meaning that you should always check any pre-1965 quarters that you may find. This coin is considered relatively rare, and a key date among collectors since only 15% of quarters 
were minted at the Denver Mint in 1955, with the vast majority coming out of the Philadelphia Mint. There were no quarters minted in San Francisco this year, so if you find one, you will know for certain that it is a fake. However, it is not the rarity of this coin that drives its value, as average examples are only worth around $5. However, if you find one in pristine, near perfect condition, this coin could be worth a whopping $20,000. Wow, guys, we are already starting to hit some pretty big figures, so stay tuned, because it gets even crazier. At number seven, we have something a little bit different. It is the 1950 Washington Quarter, graded a remarkable deep cameo proof 68. For those of you that don't know, proof coins are usually made in relatively low quantity. The coins themselves are minted to a higher quality and the plaid chits that they are minted on are usually polished. These coins are also made exclusively for collectors and are not meant for circulation. Cameo refers to the contrast between the brushed relief, the portrait of George Washington in this case, and the mirror-like background. A deep cameo denotation means that the coin has a stark amount of contrast between these two surfaces. Needless to say, this coin is truly something special since it is graded in near-perfect deep cameo condition, and it is likely one of a kind as no proof quarter from this year has been graded higher. It's worth an estimated and truly astonishing $25,000. Since there is only one example of this coin known to exist, you are unlikely to find one in this condition anytime soon. However, even lower grade deep cameo examples of this coin can be worth between $2,000 and $4,000. So you will want to be on the lookout for this coin at old antique or specialty shops as you will not find these in circulation. Coming in at number 6, we have the 1937 Double Die Obverse Washington Quarter. This is the first error coin to make an appearance on our list. For those of you out there wondering what a double die is, it is when the coin has a partial or fully doubled image on it. These coins have identical images that are slightly offset as you will see here. This error results from mistakes in the hubbing process. The hubbing process itself is a process used to actually make the dies that produce the coins. Some of you hardcore collectors out there may be surprised to know that double die is not the same as a double struck coin. In any case, on the 1937 quarter, this error can be best observed in the doubling on the words, in God we trust, and in the year 1937, as you can see here. If you are lucky enough to find one of these coins, you're in for a real treat. In average or below average circulated condition, these coins can be worth anywhere between $100 to $500. In mint state condition, they go for slightly more. In fact, in near perfect mint state condition, these error coins can be worth as much as $26,000. All right, guys. We've reached number five, and already you guys have seen some great quarters you can turn into some even better Benjamins. At number five, we have another major error coin making an appearance on the list. It is the 1950 D over S quarters struck at the Denver Mint. The story behind these sorts of errors is simpler than you might expect. It is just a matter of the Denver Mint being cheap. More specifically, the Denver Mint used dyes originally meant for the San Francisco Mint and for economic reasons decided to punch a D over the S Mint mark on these coin dyes. This coin can be a bit tough to identify so you will want to observe very carefully. If you look very carefully, you should see the underlining of the letter S near the upper and upper left portion of the letter D. The D may also appear to be slightly doubled. 
If you are patient enough to find one of these, you will be rewarded with $50 to $150 for an average to below average circulated example. In mint condition, these coins can be worth significantly more. In 2013, one sold at Heritage Auctions for a truly amazing $29,375. Rolling in at number four, we have this 1932 quarter from the San Francisco Mint. What makes this quarter historically significant is that in 1932, it was the first year that the Washington quarter design was introduced, replacing the previous Standing Liberty design. The design of the coin was created by John Flanagan based on a 1786 design by sculptor Jean Antoine Hoden which was based on the life mask and other measurements actually taken of George Washington. If you guys want to see one of the most accurate and lifelike depictions of George Washington, you can actually go see Hoden's original statue in the Virginia State Capitol in Richmond. This iconic design created in 1932 can still be seen on the front of modern U.S. quarters. This mint variety is also the rarest, as only 11% of quarters were minted in San Francisco in 1932. In average to below average circulated condition, these coins are worth between $100 and $200. But as always, condition is king when it comes to coin collecting, and that is no exception for this coin. In 2013, a near-perfect mint state example sold at Heritage Auctions for an astonishing $35,250. Okay guys, we're getting really close to number one. Coming in at number three, we have yet another air coin. It is the 1943 Double die obverse quarter complements of the Philadelphia Mint. This coin is another error like the one that was described in our number six entry on our list in that the coin has a partially doubled image on it. This one may be difficult to spot, so pay attention, guys. The best way to identify this coin is to look at what should be prominent doubling of the letters in the word liberty and in God We Trust, as you can see here. There should also be some slight doubling in the 1943 date on the coin. You guys should know that the stronger and more noticeable the double is, the more these coins will be worth. In average condition, these coins can be worth anywhere between $150 and $4,000. Mint state examples of this coin have sold recently for tens of thousands of dollars at auction. And a near perfect example could be worth as much as $40,000. Okay guys, we have reached the second most valuable quarter on our list. And it is the 1932 Washington Quarter struck at the Philadelphia Mint. Like the number four entry on this list, this quarter marked the first year the Washington Quarter design was introduced. However, contrary to the general intuition, this coin type is actually far more common than our number four entry, as about 84% of all 1932 quarters were minted at the Philadelphia Mint. That means that nearly 5,400,000 of these quarters were minted, so your chances of stumbling across one at some point are actually pretty good. In average to below average condition, these coins are only worth between $10 and $30. However, in near perfect mint state condition, this coin is a big score. In 2012, one sold at Heritage Auctions for an impressive $40,250. Now that's a quarter I'd like to have. All right, guys, we did it. We finally reached number one. The most valuable Washington quarter is the 1932 Washington quarter complements of the Denver Mint. As you guys will notice from our previous three entries on this list, 
1932 quarters dominate the top of the list because as you guys know, the 1932 quarters are the OG Washington quarters. This particular type is especially rare since less than half a million of these coins were produced at the Denver Mint which constitutes about 12% of all quarters minted in 1932. In average to below average circulated condition, these coins are only worth about one to $200. However, finding one in exceptional condition or mint state condition will be almost as good as winning the lottery. In 2008, one of these coins sold at Bowers and Morena auctions for a truly astonishing $143,750. For those of you wondering what that looks like in quarters, here it is. That's a lot of quarters. It may even be enough to cover a couple years worth of tolls where I live here in Illinois. So there you have it guys, the top 10 most valuable Washington quarters that could be lurking in your pocket change. Now that you've seen this list, it's time to start rating your local soda machines. Just kidding, don't do that as it'll probably land you in the slammer or if you're lucky, some community service, which wouldn't be the worst thing as you could search for more coins while collecting trash near local landmarks. In all seriousness guys, let me know down in the comment section down below what awesome quarters you guys have been finding. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out some of the other great content and top 10 lists here on Currency World. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Take care.